You got it. You can feel it. I can feel it. Spring is on the way. The days are getting longer. People are starting to make their warm weather plans, and that includes my monologue writers. You know, they write hundreds of jokes every day just to get the 10 or 12 we end up using in the monologue. And honestly, a lot of those jokes are not good. <laughs> it's just we're being honest. This is an honest place. <laughs> and sometimes, if we are continued to be honest, I think they throw in a few stinkers just to, you know, fill the page and meet the assignment. But just because spring is on the way and bird song is in the air doesn't mean you can tolerate laziness. Which means it's time for another surprise inspection. And let me just say, Baze, I would put our writers up against any other writing staff in the world. I think they are absolutely A-plus joke writers, but you gotta, I think the surprise inspection is one of the things that keeps them ship shape. So here's how this works. I'm gonna read some real jokes submitted by my writers that are unusable for the show. Some are dumb, some are offensive, some are confusing. Uh, most importantly, most importantly, the writers don't know we're doing this, and because a lot of them don't watch the show, uh, they'll never know. <laughs> so let's get started with a real joke that a real writer submitted. Authorities in New Jersey recently arrested an alleged burglar after they matched his DNA to saliva that was found on the stairs of the home he robbed. And I'm just glad someone's maintaining the drool of law. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's too bad to even be considered a dad joke. <laughs> it's like an absentee father joke. <laughs> uh, Ian wrote it, can we show Ian? There you go. That guy's just walking around all cocky, thinking like, yeah, I nailed it today. <laughs> a section of highway in, a section of highway in Alabama was closed yesterday after a truck hauling 45,000 pounds of chicken fat overturned. Experts are calling it the most horrific schmaltz disaster since the Donnie and Marie show got canceled. <laughs> so that joke, relies on people knowing that uh, chicken fat is, is known as schmaltz. <laughs> and then they, the next part of the joke relies on people thinking that Donnie and Marie, uh, like an act from like 40 years ago, <laughs> was schmaltzy. So it required two things to work. And even then it doesn't. <laughs> Brian wrote that joke. Let's see, Brian. There you go. <laughs> Brian, uh, Brian was born in the heyday of Donnie and Marie. An abandoned cargo ship that contains more than 1,000 luxury vehicles, including Porsches, recently caught fire off the coast of Portugal. Weird, I thought lesbians only drove Subarus. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. You know. Based on the first two, that one's definitely in the top three. <laughs> Matt wrote that joke. We should show him since he got a smattering of applause. Yeah. What <laughs> are oh, we doing, guys? <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> a dog in California was recently reunited with its family after it was missing for 12 years. Though, if you ask me, that could be any dog in there. Allie? <laughs> she looks, yeah, yeah. I heard Amber laugh. Amber knows Allie, and she's not surprised by that joke. Uh, today was the first day of Lent, so ladies, right away. I'm already terrified that there's a so ladies. Today was the first day of Lent, so ladies, you best be giving it up. Collins? <laughs> we got, a, I think, our first boo. That was a, there was an audible boo in there. Carnival Cruise Line has announced that beginning next month, it will make masks optional for all guests and offer more flexible pre-sailing testing requirements. They'll also be launching a new fleet. <laughs> you, guys, uh, you guys remember that dog joke? You guys remember who wrote it? <laughs> well, guess what?
They won't do my urn joke. Maybe they'll try casket. <laughs> and finally, tomorrow is National Grammar Day. When isn't it? Said white people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Kelsey Grammar joke, everybody. Oh, yeah, that's Kelsey. Uh, you guys, that has been, uh, this has been Surprise Inspection.